Hey everybody, hope that you've had a great weekend. Hope that your week is getting off to a great start. We are still looking at John. We are in chapter 14. We looked at the first verses where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And now Jesus is, is preparing the disciples for his departure, that he is not going to be with them. But in chapter 14, in verse 23, Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And so right there, we see if you don't follow Jesus, you're not going to keep his words. And a question that I'll ask people sometimes is, why do you expect a non-Christian, someone who doesn't believe in the word of God, to act like they believe in the word of God? You know, we're in a world where anything goes. What's good is considered evil. What's evil is considered good. And we question those people and we wonder, why is evil become good? Well, they don't have the word of God. They don't believe in God. And if they do, they believe in a very distorted God. And so we struggle in this world right now. And, and then so Jesus goes on and he says, these things I have spoken to you in verse 25, I have spoken to you while I'm still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as, the, and this is important, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You see, the peace that Jesus offers us isn't the peace of the world. It's the peace of God. It's the peace that Paul talks about in Philippians 4, the peace that surpasses all, all thought, all comprehension, all understanding. It's a peace that guards our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. So because we have the word, we gain the power of the Holy Spirit to dwell within us so that when evil becomes good and good becomes evil, we can withstand those days because we have the peace of God with us. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it any easier. But we have God's peace. And that is a blessing for us. So whatever is going on in your life, my prayer for you is, first of all, that you follow what Jesus said. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him. And you will dwell in Christ. And then his peace will be with you. His peace will overwhelm you. And that is great, great news. So have a great day, and God bless you.